This is the most expensive gem I own, which is why I could only afford a fifth of a carat. So technically it was cheap, just 24 Swiss francs. It's looking great and I'm excited to explore it. Under the polariscope, it shows anisotropic behavior, though its internal structure makes the light path a bit tricky. It blinks four times during a full rotation, but not very distinctly. I couldn't find the optic axis, but at least I tried. Next up, the refractometer. Butter is running low, and I'm down to my last tight finger gloves, but I got 200 more, hopefully of the right size. High refractive index, 1.59. Low 1.58, pyrefringence 0.010. The readings appeared in a bubble, more like spot readings. I'm guessing that's due to the stone's small size and shape. Unfortunately, I couldn't capture that. Then my camera decided to stop filming, but we're almost done anyway. Under the dichroscope, it's very slightly pleochroic. I can see a faint bluish tint. And under the microscope, the inclusions seem mostly structural, no obvious mineral inclusions, very different from other emeralds I've examined. That probably explains the price. Gotta say, this Ethiopian emerald is gorgeous, and for 24 francs, definitely a bargain.